Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host Rocky2815 and today is my Cardiff Comic Con haul video. I was originally going to go two days but uh, one day was enough for at least this first one of the year. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video and the haul. So, what did I pick up? exactly while cosplaying I have picked up an Lilivi plush I really love these like little plushies they're just so sweet and actually Eevee's one of my favourite Pokemon balls so I managed to get a picture of a person who was cosplaying as Eevee so that was really cool as well but also these will be um, lore items for my uh, set that I'm setting up late in the year. I've got a Mew plush. Mew! And I've forgotten the noise Eevee makes. I think it's Eevee! Or something like that. I have got Toon Link. Yeah! Yeah! With the Wind Waker shield. So that's free. And actually, if we look at the label, poker dolls, like it says in the video game, and then it says Pokemon Center. So I have a feeling these came from the official Pokemon Center over in Japan. And if I am correct, that is brilliant. But also, off the same stall, I've been looking for this game for ages because people should know by now if you've watched my channel for a long time I'm a big fan of the Legend of Zelda series I managed to pick up the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass if you're wondering why I'm covering a piece up is because right basically online I can only find it 50 to 80 quid but this well, this little copy that I got from the convention yesterday on the 21st of March 15 quid now that is a bargain, and this is from the same stall as the plushies, if I remember, I'll put the link down in the description of this video, it is from RPG, which stands for Retro Plushy Games, they got a Facebook and a Twitter you can go and visit, their Facebook is Retro Plushy Games, and then their Twitter is at Retro Plushy Games and for inquiries go to at Retro Plushy Games dot com so that's good but uh, what else did I pick up? I didn't actually pick up much because this haul was actually even it didn't doesn't look expensive but it was quite expensive plushers Eight pounds each, but they would do a special offer thing where you buy three plushes, it equals to eight pounds because obviously eight plus eight plus eight, three eights are not twenty. So that was good. Uh, of course, I got this leaflet for the Doctor Who exhibition, which is really good. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, almost forgot. To put my mega ring on. I'm only half in cosplay because the backpack's over here, so you can see just how short sort of thing. And then I'm not wearing the shorts, but you'll get to see that more in the video. So, what is the last thing I bought exactly? You may be asking. Well, it's literally burnt 50 quid in my pocket, but. It's a video game series that I thought I'd get into. I wasn't quite sure if I would get into it, but I l again I probably mentioned this before, but I love Disney. I love Disney movies. Uh, one of my favorite Disney movies has got to be Tangled from 2009. So I picked up um, a game that was created by Disney and Square Enix and for people who are really big fans of this series should know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Kingdom Hearts Recoded for Nintendo DS. Now I heard there's actually official Kingdom Hearts uh, timeline 
like the Ledger Zelda. Well, sort of official, but you know. But anyway, I heard there was some sort of timeline. If somebody could tell me in the comment section down below where Kingdom Hearts Recoded comes into it, it'd be great. Also, um, I'm going to actually look up a bit more about Kingdom Hearts Recoded because I'm not sure if it's like, you know, some sort of a remake or if it's one of the actual main series games because like there's a, a 2.5 Kingdom Hearts um, actually another thing about Kingdom Hearts we got a uh, main character Sora here on the front uh, again there was a cosplayer cosplayer Sora so I took a picture and then two three four minutes later I managed to pick up this coincidence I think not. I think that some power wanted me to get this to get into the Kingdom Hearts series. So, there's that. But also, right, I did not pick up these, but I need to mention about these anyway. I've got a Torchic and a Premier Ball here. These were part of my cosplay, but they were only in some of the pictures and shown in some of the video footage. So... I was originally going to say this on the actual video opening sort of thing before it goes into like a montage sequence of photos and video. Um, actually, I've got to talk about the last one also in this video. Um, yeah, basically, in the photos and video, there are certain ones where I have these two items or just the torchic or just the premier ball. So. In that particular video, which will be called Cardiff Comic Con 2015, 21st of March montage slash uh, showcase or something like that, I want people to put in the comment section of that video how many times can you spot me with my Premier Ball or my Torchic, either or. So like. For instance, if there was a photo with both of them in, you count both of them, so like, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth, and then two weeks, I'll leave it, and then I'll make a video confirming how many times these two appeared. I did actually have other Pokeballs, but I showed in a different video, but I didn't get a chance to use them, and I did not get a chance to do this. I wish I did. But literally, I'm not even kidding you, most of the cosplayers I took pictures w with were Pokemon people, so it really fitted the theme. But there was one thing. There was no Team Magma or Aqua. Like, seriously? And I think there was like, um, one gen one person who was cosplaying as a Gen 3 Pokemon. Like, but, actually there is another Comic Con. I believe it's in August, again Cardiff. I'm look, um, I'm seeing if I can go to that. Well, actually I am going to that, that's confirmed. Um, there's also MCM Comic Con in London, and I thought I would possibly try and go there as well. Because I'm already going to the Excel Arena where the MCM Comic Con is held to go to Minecon 2015. Tickets go on sale next. No. No. This week. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say when. As that. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. As Riverson said from Doctor Who. Spoilers. Spoilers. Pretty much. But anyway, I wish I had more merchandise to show you, but like I said, I burnt 50 quid out of my wallet. Well, actually out of my pocket, because I didn't want to carry around a wallet. <laughs> but yeah, I burnt 50 quid. That's the most money I've ever spent within four hours. <laughs> No, serious. Um, 
on the lines of Comic Con last year's video, the montage thing, it worked out pretty well. I created all my own personal music, so the copyright is mine, apart from, of course, there's the stupid YouTube content ID system, and uh, I got content ID on it, and I had to basically it removes quite a lot of the music and I've been wanting to re-edit it and redo the music but it would be too draining for me and stressful also it would be too drain stressful to try and get the content ID off the video I have rambled on for long enough mind you even though this is a whole video that's H a U L, by the way, as you can see in the title. Um, I know some people get confused, so uh, what else have I got to say? Um, yes, everybody was so lovely at Cardiff Comic Con. I can't wait to go. What was one of the most interesting things about Comic Con? Yeah, one of the most interesting things was that I got recognised as who I was meant to be. Like whispers through the crowd, so that was quite cool. Um, a guy that was dressed as a Umbreon or a cosplaying as Umbreon, uh, wanted to take a picture with me. Like stopped me. Like you, you know, you st I wasn't expecting people to even take pictures of me, but two people did. So that was really cool. Yeah, actually that was one of my highlights, having my picture taken, like, it was weird, but at the same time fun, because it was nice that people stopped me and asked me, and the great thing, apart from getting my picture taken twice, that was actually really fun, uh, and taking pictures with other cosplayers, um you know, getting recognised, um, and getting all the merchandise was that the DeLorean vehicle, the original from Back to the Future, was on display. I got photos of that and that was really, really cool. Also, <laughs> I just feel like I'm just bumping to coincidence here, like I said about the Kingdom Hearts coincidence thing earlier. Well, I say, not coincidence, quite, uh, but who was it? I've forgotten who it was, but it was someone, family, said, um, yeah, uh, what did they say? Oh, yeah, before I left the house to go uh, with Brick Daddy, um, the other family member uh, said that, what did they say? Watch out for Team Rocket. Right. If you can hear that, that's just next door neighbours. They got like really young kids. But anyway, so what I was saying, yeah. So, person from family before I left, who was in the house washing up, uh, said, "Watch out for Team Rocket." What is one of the first things I come across? Well, as soon as Cameraman One from the Gromit video cut came in because he was videoing, Brick Daddy was taking photos this time, um, we were just walking around, we saw Ash Ketchum, um, cosplayer, went to take a picture, and lo and behold, Ash Ketchum, Misty, Jesse and James, <laughs> so, actually, because she likes Pokemon, she doesn't play the games, but she likes watching the old TV programs with me, so, um, she said, watch out for Team Rocket, and, like I said earlier, I've kept forgetting which family member it was, hence why I didn't say he, she, whatever, um, but said, watch out for Team Rocket, then I bump into Team Rocket. Literally. It's another coincidence. Coincidences just keep occurring with me. First it was watch out for Team Rocket, then it was the Kingdom Hearts thing, um, what was another good thing, <sighs> so many lovely people to talk to, um, 
quite a lot of people said they um, really liked my costume and loved it. Um, who said they? Oh yeah, there was um, a girl cos cosplaying as Mario and her friend um, cosplaying as Luigi and they said they loved my costume. So that was cool. Uh, there was a girl who was dressed as a mudkip. That's the only person I saw dressed as a Generation 3 Pokemon <laughs> to take a picture with. Literally everyone else was Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 4, Gen 5 Pokemon. But anyway, so yeah, she was really nice. Um, and she said she really liked the hat. Actually, it was boiling, wearing this hat all day. I got to Cardiff, quarter past eleven. Went down to Starbucks, Brick Daddy got coffee, something to eat. Then I ate, um, in the car park, in the car. Obviously not in, not out of the car in the car park, that'd be so awkward. Wait, yeah, you know, you could get run down by cars and whatever, but anyway. So, did that, we went, and there was a, an enormous queue for tickets. There was like a short queue to the left, but that was only for people who pre-booked tickets, and literally, I could not find any way to pre-book tickets. I looked, Brick Daddy looked, Cameraman One looked, we could not find any way to pre-book tickets. So, hopefully for next time, we can find a way to pre-book tickets, because if you got a pre-book ticket, what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, it means you just go straight through. You do not have to stand in a giant massive queue waiting to pay. But also, um, I saw two Power Rangers. I only got a picture with one. It was the Green Mighty Morphin Ranger. But the other Power Ranger that I saw earlier, but I never saw it for the rest of the day like I saw hit him or her out of the car couldn't tell because you know helmet on obviously um but crimson thunder ranger from power rangers ninja storm that is one of my favorite rangers i don't know what it is but with power rangers i've always loved the power Ranger, like seemingly sort of you know normal or average people you find out that they're evil and then you find out they're evil power rangers and then they become good power rangers you know, I, re I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love evil turning to good. You know, that's just something I absolutely love. I don't know why, like um, Zenaku from Wild Force, but I won't spoil that for anybody who's thinking of watching that. But anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. Rambled on. What's wrong with my... I thought I was spoiling like the Joker then. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Remember to leave a like, view, share and subscribe. And like I said, if I remember, I will put a link in the description to RPG. Yeah, which is Retro Plushy Games. If I remember, I will put a link in the description to... Uh, their Facebook, their Twitter, their website. So, if only if I remember, I'm terrible at remembering links in descriptions. And anyway, I'm making this too long of a video. So, thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -sies. Also, remember, Mega Ray Quaz is the best in Shiny.